Greetings aviation enthusiasts and curious minds alike. Today, we're diving into the thrilling world of fighter jets, exploring how their breathtaking speed has evolved over time. Are these magnificent machines becoming too fast for anti-air missiles? We'll find out. But before we take off, please do us a solid and hit that subscribe button. Your support helps us create more content just like this. Now buckle up as we take flight into the fascinating world of fighter jets. The dawn of the jet age brought with it new opportunities and challenges. As the 40s rolled in, the world of aviation was on the brink of a revolution, about to shift gears from propeller-driven aircraft to the era of jet engines. This change was not just about aesthetics or the roar of a new beast in the sky. It was about speed, pure unadulterated speed. In the forefront of this revolution was the German Messerschmitt Me 262, the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. This marvel of engineering introduced during the Second World War was a game-changer. It was a departure from the propeller-driven aircraft of the past, and it set the stage for the future. The Mi-262 was capable of reaching speeds of up to 540 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's nearly twice the speed of the fastest propeller-driven aircraft of its time. The traditional propeller-driven aircraft were pushed to their limits, struggling to reach speeds of 300 miles per hour. But here was a jet, effortlessly breaking those barriers and setting new benchmarks. This staggering speed was made possible by the innovative jet engines. Propellers, while efficient at lower speeds, lose their effectiveness as the speed increases. Jet engines, on the other hand, thrive on speed. The faster they go, the more efficient they become allowing aircraft like the Mi-262 to reach previously unthinkable speeds. The inception of jet engines wasn't just about outpacing propeller aircraft though, it was also about outmaneuvering them. The enhanced speed and power of jet engines provided a significant advantage in aerial combat, an advantage that would shape the future of warfare in the skies. The jet age had begun, and with it, the race for speed was on. The Mi 262 was just the first step in a journey that would see fighter jets break the sound barrier and continue to push the limits of what is possible in the sky. The dawn of the jet age was not just a new chapter in aviation, it was the beginning of a whole new book. But the need for speed didn't stop there. Not by a long shot. In the heart of the 20th century, we saw the advent of something truly extraordinary, the breaking of the sound barrier. This was not just a milestone in aviation history, but a pivotal moment for mankind. The year was 1947. A young pilot named Chuck Yeager, strapped into the cockpit of a Bell X-1 aircraft, set his sights on the heavens and the invisible barrier that lay ahead. With a heart full of courage, Yeager throttled up, and in a breathtaking moment of triumph, he broke the sound barrier, reaching a speed of 767 miles per hour. The first to ever do so, he shattered the myth that supersonic flight was impossible, paving the way for a new era of aviation. And so the supersonic age was born. Jets were no longer just fast, they were faster than sound. Aircraft like the F-104 Starfighter emerged, a machine that could exceed 2,000 miles per hour and climb to altitudes of over 50,000 feet. These jets were not just marvels of engineering, but symbols of human achievement testament to our relentless pursuit of progress. The F-104 Starfighter, with its sleek design and formidable speed, represented a significant leap from its predecessors. Its introduction marked a new chapter in military aviation, offering unprecedented strategic advantages. With the ability to cover vast distances in a matter of minutes, these supersonic jets redefined the boundaries of aerial warfare and reconnaissance. These machines, these supersonic jets, were not simply faster, they were transformative, altering the very fabric of aviation. They pushed the boundaries, changed the rules of the game, and accelerated us into a future that was once the stuff of science fiction. With the arrival of supersonic jets, the sky was no longer the limit. The sound barrier was broken, and mankind soared into a new era of speed, where the only limit was the one we set for ourselves. And so, we continue ever forward, ever faster, into the great unknown. The evolution didn't stop with breaking the sound barrier, no sir. The quest for speed and power continued to fuel the development of modern fighter jets. Let's take a moment to appreciate the marvels of the F-15 Eagle and the F-22 Raptor. These jets didn't just break records, they redefined them. The F-15 Eagle, 
a twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter aircraft boasted a top speed of over Mach 2.5. That's more than twice the speed of sound, folks. But it wasn't just about speed. The F-15 was designed to maintain control even in the harshest conditions, demonstrating unprecedented maneuverability and precision. Then came the F-22 Raptor. This single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter was a game-changer. With its top speed of over Mach 2, it may not have been as fast as the F-15, but its stealth capabilities and advanced avionics more than made up for it. The F-22 was the first operational aircraft to combine super cruise, super maneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. These technological advancements are not just about breaking records or boasting rights, they have a significant impact on combat and strategy. For instance, the incredible speeds of these jets allow them to outrun enemy aircraft, making them hard targets for anti-aircraft systems. Moreover, their advanced avionics provide superior situational awareness, giving pilots an edge in combat scenarios. However, it's not just about outrunning or outmaneuvering the enemy. The high speeds also allow these jets to reach their targets quickly, reducing the time for enemy defenses to react. In essence, speed has become an essential part of the modern warfare strategy. In this modern era, the development of fighter jets is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of advancement. We've come a long way from the first jet engines pushing the boundaries of what's possible and redefining the limits of speed and power. The modern era brought us closer than ever to the edge of what's possible. So, what does the future hold for fighter jet speeds? As we've seen, the evolution of fighter jet speeds has been nothing short of breathtaking. It's a story of human ingenuity, technological advancement, and a relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. But what's next? The answer lies in hypersonic technology. Hypersonic speeds, usually defined as speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, are the next frontier in aviation. This would mean a jet that can fly faster than 6,100 miles per hour. Imagine the possibilities. A jet could fly from New York to London in less than half an hour. But as with every technological leap, there are challenges. Hypersonic speeds generate intense heat that can damage aircraft structures. The materials used in the construction of these jets must be able to withstand these high temperatures. Additionally, the aerodynamics at these speeds is complex and requires further research and innovation. Now you might be wondering, are fighter jets becoming too fast for anti-aircraft missiles? It's a valid question. After all, what's the point of having a super-fast jet if it can be easily shot down by a missile? The reality is that as fighter jet speeds increase, so do the speeds of missiles. This is an ongoing cat-and-mouse game between offense and defense in the world of military aviation. However, speed is just one aspect of the equation. Stealth technology, electronic warfare capabilities, and advanced maneuverability are also critical factors in ensuring the survivability of a fighter jet. While a hypersonic jet might be hard to catch, it's also harder to control and maneuver, making it potentially more vulnerable to advanced missile systems. So, are fighter jets becoming too fast? Perhaps. But remember, speed is not the only factor that determines a fighter jet's effectiveness. It's a balance between speed, maneuverability, stealth, and electronic warfare capabilities. Only time will tell what the future of fighter jet speeds holds. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, one thing is certain, the future of fighter jet speeds promises to be as thrilling and unpredictable as their past. It's been a thrilling journey through the evolution of fighter jet speeds. We've soared from the dawn of the jet age, an era marked by propellers and piston engines, to the groundbreaking moment when we shattered the sound barrier, forever changing the face of aviation. We then transitioned into the modern era, a time of technological leaps and bounds. Fighter jets became increasingly faster, more agile, and more sophisticated. These advancements not only redefined aerial warfare, but also led to extraordinary strides in commercial aviation, ultimately shrinking our world. Looking ahead, the future of fighter jet speeds is as exhilarating as it is challenging. With the rapid advancements in technology, the limits of speed are constantly being pushed. However, the question remains, are fighter jets becoming too fast for anti-air missiles? It's a fascinating conundrum that blends the thrill of speed with the precision of defense systems. And as we continue to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible, we'll undoubtedly witness more incredible feats of aviation.
This journey has just scratched the surface of the captivating world of fighter jets. There's so much more to explore and learn. So, if you enjoyed this high-speed ride and want to stay updated on the latest in aviation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming adventures. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to join us on more exciting journeys. Until next time,